Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's car boot haul. We've done two car boot sales this morning. There's nothing massively exciting, but it's all decent bread and butter. This is the filler bag, and I have to say that I think there's very little in the filler bag that's actually for resale. I took both my offspring with me this morning. Natalie, age 26, for those of you who don't know, nearly 26. Anthony, age 31. And um, between them, they did a filler bag for me that was nothing to do with reselling. So Natalie's got this uh, atomic power popper ball shooter thing for uh, when the kids come to visit. I don't even know if I'm loading it properly. I almost definitely don't know how to use it. Oh, like that, there we go. Good job, good job Kai's not here because he'd go mental. I was firing these, basically it's all these little red balls and what we had in the other balls and we go, I was firing them into the carrier bag. But even so I could feel some force there. So there's two guns and a bag of balls, as you do. So that's for when the kids come to play. I'm hoping they'll take that little field out of the way and play with it. Ah, uh, well, there's a couple more stray balls there, bear with. Filler bag was three pound today, so. That's probably worth the three quid on its own to keep the kids happy. Anthony threw in a Supercars 2022 calendar. I mean, it's it's now July 2022, but if he wanted it, that's fine. I chucked in this, which is an inflatable cushion, and it's almost definitely come out of a camper van at some point, and that's the most 70s thing I've ever seen. Um, so there's a tube there for you to blow it up through. I presume you could pump it up rather than blow it up. And it has a stopper to keep the air in. It is literally the most 70s thing ever, isn't it, just? <laughs> so I threw that in, I thought there might be some value in that. This will be the second one of these we've got. It's a dog treat tin, it says part of the family on it. We've got one downstairs, we'll have one upstairs now. The dogs are very much in favour of treats being available on all levels of the home. So that went in. So far, nothing to resell apart from the fashion cover, eh? Anthony put in... I, we call it a tennis racket, but it's got a very short handle. Does that make it a squash racket? I'm not sure. It's also a bit more oval. I don't know. Anyway, this is, again is for playing with the dogs. Natalie chucked in a colouring book. <laughs> she put in knee and elbow pads for Lexi, for little Lexi. Like I said, there's not a lot in here. There's an empty can of Coke. Not a lot in here that isn't for, uh, for the family. I chucked in original Yahtzee travel game. That'll be for reselling. There's another ball. A new and unused flat-based hairbrush and a couple of clips. Those are for me. I seem to have lost all of my... What, what are these called? Kind of grabby clips. I don't know what they're called. I seem to have lost them all, so that's for me. And then I just threw this in at the last minute. It says Seekers, the scavenger hunt game for car journeys. So it's um, little tiles. They're magnetic. I'm not sure what the deal is with them, but there are things for you to spot. So some are wearing a hat, a police car, a roadworks sign, a bike. The fact that they're magnetic implies that there ought to have been a board or something for them to go on, doesn't it? And there is no board. They did come in a little handy bag, but no board. So maybe, maybe that's only part of the game. Maybe the other half is missing. That's it for my share of the filler bag. The rest of it is all for the kids or the family. So yeah, filler bag did not produce much for resell today. But also from Steve, I paid an extra four quid for these three items. So I've got a really quite nice aerial little mermaid mug. It's got um, heart as big as the ocean around the rim there. Unusual shape, that one. That's a Disney store mug and I've not seen this one before. A refill Yahtzee score pad and a little Kath Kidston purse. Quite nice nick. Zip on the back there. Quite a nice little purse that one. That was four quid additionally on top of my filler bag. So nothing very exciting from Steve today. Also for the family we bought What Do You Meme? The UK edition. Um, family and friends obviously. It says easel inside. It looks as though it may not have been used, although there is no. Oh, there is an easel inside. Little easel in there. So yeah, we haven't played What Do You Meme? Let me know in the comments if you've played it, what you thought of it. I'm not entirely sure what they... Let me see. I've read the rules. 
Find two or more mates, oh dear, and sit around a table. If you don't have two or more mates, try joining an improv troupe. It's a great way to meet people nearby. To start playing, each player draws seven caption cards. Caption cards are the cards with captions on them. That's why we call them caption cards. The person with the most Instagram followers typically starts as the judge, unless they bought followers or use 100 hashtags on each post. If you have a mate who does that, slap them firmly across the face. The judge then looks through the photo cards and selects the ones they want to judge for that round. They show it to everyone and then place it on the lush little easel in front of them. Everyone else takes a few moments to decide which of their seven caption cards pairs funniest with the photo card in play and passes it to the judge face down. So it's very similar to um, Cards Against Humanity, only picture based instead of question based. So for example, if this was your... If this was your meme card, which is... Oh, come on. Trumpet is finest. I would... That's Trump doing a smug face. So the, the caption that I might use for that is when you ask your dad to pass the pepper and he tells you, get a effing job. <laughs> so, for example, yeah. Maybe that wasn't the best example. <laughs> We, we, like I said, we haven't played it, but we'll give it a go. Let's pop those back in there. It was £2 and it currently retails on Amazon for 20 so it was definitely worth a two quid investment. I'm sure we'll have fun with that. What else did I buy? Things what I did buy, as Lex would say. I bought a Harry Potter box set. This is my third one in the space of about three weeks. Are they all in there? It was a pound. Da -da, da -da. Yep, they are. I would have been surprised if they weren't because this lady is a regular seller and she's quite a conscientious lady. I'd have been very surprised if she had this missing out of that. So that's not bad for a quid. I wonder if I can get her price stick off. Yep, that peeled off nicely. Two pounds for these M&S shoes. Now they've got a whacking great price sticker across the front. They're quite a nice navy suede, which is why we don't put sticky labels on them. But there we are. That's okay. That's come off okay. Navy suede Hessian wedge sandal. There's all my keywords in one go. Two quid for those. What size they are? Hang on. Bear with. Hold the line, caller. Your call is important to us, which is why we've put you on hold. They're not a size at all. There's no size on them. Come on, M&S, play the game. There is no size. Oh, there you go, it's in there. It's a six. They're a size six. I paid four quid for three copper jelly moulds. Now, these are decorative items more than people don't use them to make jelly anymore but I've got a little round one with a bunch of grapes on it. Got a massive shiny cock. Just sorry, I'm just waiting for Stall to calm down. Have you calmed down now, Stall? Lovely. Okay, and I've also got your duck or it's a duck, isn't it? I've got a duck. There we go. Four pound for the three. Not something I've ever bought before, but I know that people have bought them and have resold them, so. Bloody fringe, I'm due for a haircut this week. So fingers crossed I'll get some money back on those. I paid three pounds for this very nice calf Kidston bag in lovely condition. Really, really nice, Nick. Three quid for that one. Judging by the look of the inside, I would say very little used, hardly any dust and crud in there. These two were 50p each. This one is Jelly Cat, a Jelly Cat comforter in the bunny shape. And this one is, I did find the label, Sweet dreamies, sweet dreamers. So, more unusual shape that one. It's got three, three sections to the blanket. So, that one's you and the sheep, apparently. 50p each on those. I paid £5 for this hand-carved chess set. A little bit of research implies that it may be Balinese, but more research to do before I actually know what I'm talking about. I did check that it had all the pieces, so it does look Balinese, these, um, hang on a second, those pieces definitely look Balinese to me, said she pretending she knows stuff, but it's a really nice set, 
it's backgammon on the inside but there are no backgammon counters i don't know if, that, if they would normally have come with it or not but there's a backgammon all carved out on the inside there so it's really lovely it's, it's been beautifully carved it's all carved around the outside as well little handle nice thing nice thing um like i said i paid five i hope to be able to get 20 on there it's not a massive profit but i hope to be able to get 20. i paid a pound for three maxell you are recordable cassette tapes new and sealed i have to pick uncle nick's brains about those three for quid also a quid a christmas grinch t-shirt which says a drink up grinches pound for that one 250 two pounds two pounds for this i'm hoping it will fit me it is a black denim very soft denim cotton chambray kind of just over the head shirt it's only tesco but i liked it so i'm hoping it will fit me it's, it's a little bit damp it was a bit damp in the air at the car boot this morning and more stuff for the household a pack of lint rollers because this is one hell of a hairy household we have three dogs two of them shed buddy bless him does not shed but um kai sheds like it's a full-time job and he might get a bonus if he does a good job of it and molly also pretty sheddy so a pack of lint rollers is always an investment of 50p and a new snap screen for the back door to try and keep the flies out plagued with flies which you are our dogs have wet food and they don't always eat it all in one go which means if you don't get it up off the floor quick enough the flies are just horrendous i'm going to try that thing where you, have you seen that thing you put a massive plastic bag by the back door with coins in it and apparently the, the flies because flies have multifaceted eyeballs it they think it's a swarm of some kind of and they avoid it or something like that i can't remember what, they, what the deal is but i might try that but in the meantime a snap screen one pound fifty these normally cost about a tenner so one pound fifty for one of those to keep the flies out of the house the last thing I bought from Easter Compton this morning was these. Now I saw these, there was a lady selling these a few weeks ago and she wanted £25 for the two. The chap I bought them off this morning was a completely different bloke and he and I, sold, I got £10 for the two so he must have bought them off her and then perhaps they don't have the value that he hoped they would have. I don't know what value they have but I was willing to take a chance. Let me look them up before I tell you about them solds on these are 10 to 12 quid each so i'm glad they didn't cost me more than a fiver they are walt disney classics deluxe video collectors editions i've got beauty and the beast and then the other one is jungle book so inside here we've got a booklet which is the making of beauty and the beast very nice this is something tammy might like actually tammy's a bit of a disney fan there is commemorative lithographs in an envelope quite nice things and then there is it's all sealed inside the packaging as well the uh, the media so we've got the sealed VHS edition of Beauty and the Beast then there is a sealed VHS work in progress the making of Beauty and the Beast and then there is the original motion picture soundtrack on cd so i've got beauty of the beast and i've got the jungle book and i don't think as i said looking at prices there's not a lot to be made out of them however if tammy really loves them then they would be nice as part of her birthday present wouldn't they so i might show them to her and see if she infuses i'm just trying to get the other one out to show you but there we go there's the jungle book and yeah all the same deal in there the making of oh not quite the same this has got the making of book it's got a lithograph and then it's got the video and the motion picture soundtrack but not the second video these there's more than one lithograph in here as well these are quite nice so they're i don't think the camera's going to focus very well but they're wrapped in a printed cellophane cover and then there's two pieces of artwork there signed and numbered 
they're very nice things and Tammy does love Disney so that might be what happens to them they might be Tammy's part-time birthday present if she's interested if you see anything in one of my videos that you really really love and want to have there is an email address in the descriptions box below please email me some of you message me through instagram but that's difficult because if we're if we're not already matched on instagram whatever it is then it goes into a kind of a hidden spot and i don't always see it the same with facebook if you message me on facebook i don't always see that whereas if you email me the email address is always in the description box and i always see my emails so um so yeah if you see anything that you really want to buy email is definitely the way forward i'll get the next lot out and i'll be back Okay, so this second lot is from Trench Lane Car Boot and Trench Lane Car Boot is just not up to much this year so far. It's now July and normally Trench Lane would be buzzing by now. It would be growing and growing, but they haven't advertised it this year at all. And I think because it hasn't been on properly for the last couple of years, people have given up realising it's there. However, I did get a very nice practically unused pair of nursery curtains. They're very long and they are Winnie the Pooh. I'm not sure which what brand they are they're fully lined they smell a bit cupboardy I think they need a wash because they yeah they don't smell dirty just cupboardy so you can go right there and go in the wash in a minute they're, like I said they're very long I think they must be a 72 or a 90 drop but I cannot find a maker's name on them and yet they look so familiar that I feel like I must have had them before so so it's Winnie the Pooh doing chasing a butterfly with a net and saying hello there butterfly which is a strange thing because you wouldn't expect Pooh to chase butterflies with a net would you it's not really a very Winnie the Pooh thing to do they were a pound and like I said apart from smelling a bit cupboardy they're in really nice condition two pounds for this dress which I am hoping will fit me for holidays and summer it should fit me it looks okay it is unbranded or it has had its label removed one or the other but it did have a size label in it which I found after some some considerable search and the problem with a very flared dress is you go round and round looking for the size label for hours I'm going to do that again now look <laughs> hold the line caller it just says made in India it hasn't got a place a shop name on it but hopefully it will fit the find of the day was definitely six Denby Craftsman mugs. These are in a colour called something or other. I have forgotten it. I want to say wintergreen, but I don't think it was wintergreen. Bear with Greenwich. They're called Greenwich. So I have six of these and they were a fiver. So that was a very nice find. I will sell them singly unless anybody says to me, oh no, I want all six. And people will buy them as replacements. So that's a very nice pickup for five pounds providing I don't smash them all I'll put the rest away in a minute I got four comforters they were 50p each all from the same person one of them is uh Christmas one I think this is Asda little nutmeg so that's um Morrison's isn't it little nutmeg so one Christmassy one and then this one is jelly cat this one is a Tesco F and F one and then this one is Disney Baby. I think it might be a Primark one. Yeah, Disney Baby at Primark, that one. Winnie the Pooh. 50p each for those, so £2 for the four. I'll sandwich another couple of mugs in around the side of those. There was a lady who had a massive bundle of ties, mostly silk, and she wanted 20p each. But I don't know anything about ties, but I picked out a couple that were um, vintage St Michael. Let me see if I can find which ones they are. Bear with. Oh, that one's, maybe I put one. Maybe I put one back that I thought I'd got. I've got one that's vintage St Michael. It says all silk. And then I've got one that just says all silk made in England, and I must have picked that one up by mistake because I thought I'd got two St Michael ones. I've got two that are woods and grey. Not again. I don't know anything about ties, but they are pure silk. And then one is Lucia or Luca Franzini, Italian silk. So. They were 20 pence each and I just figured I'll spend a quid on ties and maybe I'll make a couple of quid back because that is a complete mystery to me. Sometimes you have to expand your horizons. I got a Mr Grumpy mug for 50p. I've definitely sold this one before. That is a popular one. And this is a Crown Devon jug. Ooh, ooh. 
I can't see any actual cracks. It has a lot of creasing, but I can't see cracks. And yet when you tap it, it doesn't ding. When I tap it, it thuds instead of dinging. So I don't know if this is going to be any good, but it was a pound. A pound for a Crown Devon Staffordshire jug. Potters for over 150 years. I do like a nice jug. Ba bum tish. Last and probably least, one pound for a bag of wool for my mother to add to all her other wool. She has much wool, but she enjoys crocheting. She's she wants to start crocheting blankets for the for the neonatal unit at the hospital, and also people crochet little blankets for ladies who have sadly suffered a stillbirth and then the the hospital actually has a stock of these blankets and so that you can take your baby in a in a beautiful new soft blanket so she wants to start doing that because she wants her crochet blankets to be of use you know and, and to bring comfort to somebody so there's enough wool there to keep her going for a while and the pink might be very useful for that i don't think the, the bright colors obviously not the bright colors so much but the pink might be useful for that so that was another quid spent on wool for my mother that's it Pretty sure that is the haul and all of the haul. Nothing massively thrilling, just quite a lot of bread and butter stuff. The Crown, uh, the Denby mugs are probably the best buy of the day, actually. Uh, I was, I did have high hopes for the Disney classics videos, but looking at the Souls and Completeds, they're not, they're not a loss, but they're not, they're not a thrill. So probably the Denby mugs are my best buy. As I said earlier, if you've seen anything in this video that floats your boat, drop me an email. The address is in the description box. I'll be back next week. Take care. Bye for now.